Hi everyone, I'm JD from Willow Down Journals and I have got three new journals to share with you. I absolutely love them. These were a wonderful creative outlet for me, trying different things. I've gone with the basic uh, layered envelope style and I do have a simple tutorial on my channel showing the way I like making this with an envelope on the front here, one on the back, one here and one here. I've just done simple versions this time. The previous ones that I've made have had an extra envelope so that there's an ephemera holder at the back. But this time I've streamlined it and done sort of more my style where I like it a bit more simple. And the ephemera holders inside the front covers. Well, the front and back covers, sorry. So we've got three styles here, all slightly different. Um, and I'll do flip throughs of each of these in turn. But we've got the music one here. I love how it's like songbird, a songbird. This is vintage poetry, vintage music, and vintage horse, like horse racing memorabilia and stuff like that. So I did make the this one, I believe, first. So actually, I think I made that one first, but I'm going to go with this one because it's a bit more traditional. So we've got one of my handmade um, collage tags here with the tissue paper over the top, and you can see like the... Um, piano and sheet music paper there in the background so it ties in with that theme love this songbook cover and I do love the back with the harp and that says soprano and then joy that is a playing card with a bird that ties in with the front cover and how music gives us joy I thought that all just went so so well together and I just wanted to make sure that word joy can peek through and in the back there's another one of those tags. So it all works together. And let's go and open up the front cover. We've got a beautiful vintage postcard. Anything music themed I have in this journal. Um, and all these journals are available in my Etsy, except for this one, which when I woke up this morning had already sold. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll leave the link below to my Etsy if you're interested in either of these other two journals. Um, and we have the violin and... Yeah, just lots of gorgeous papers, music paper, vintage piano paper, sheet music and coffee dyed papers and there's piano paper. This is a pocket, an altered library card with piano paper. So lots of fun pages in this one and a nice variety. Even though it's all music themed, there's a variety of different types of music papers, which is really, really cool. So give you a look at all the pages. I love this middle page here where it says pianoforte and all the different types of fonts and it's still writing space. Love that so much. Pocket page, again you can see the music peeking out the top. That's really cool. Cute images and illustrations, love those as well. This one's a, a paper bag with a napkin on top and I love it because of the music notes in there and just a slight pop of color because it's definitely a vintage um, journal and very neutral here's another beautiful vintage postcard with the piano there and you can write on the back and there's a whole bunch of other things here another tag piano paper pocket music paper pocket so lots of goodies in this what's it called pocket <laughs> and there's the back like i said so that's Songbird. This one's the horse one. And I have no idea if anyone would really be interested in this journal, although it is in two people's carts, which is interesting. I have no idea yet who would be into this such a specific journal, but we've got actual, you know, a photo from a horse race. We've got a beautiful vintage photograph here with some horses. So I just included that there to go with the theme. Um, this is, you know, the name of the horse and um, vintage ledger, a ticket, which is really cool. A pocket there and just different memorabilia. My cat wants to come in, hold that bullet. <laughs> um, so yeah, in this large pocket here, we have some more different things from the horse racing memorabilia. There's a map of a race, a race course, and here's like a little booklet with information. And 
as you can see it's um, from 1964 that I believe all of the memorabilia is from yeah 13th of June 1964 let's check there really cool lovely vintage pages and gallop anything horse themed I put in here trotting horses and it has yeah all the dates and the place names and uh, vintage ledger there different things in paper clipped in and just yeah it was really fun for me to make very creative I've never made a, a journal with this theme before love that um, and even things like this this is cool a bit of a pop of color some newspaper clippings which is very cool just a lovely variety of different bits and pieces again here August 29th 1964 and another one here lots of lots of cool things in this journal so I'd be interested if anyone does buy this journal um, I'll be really keen if you would leave a little buyer's note and let me know why you're buying it like do you love horses or do you love going to the races or is it a gift for someone who loves horses or going to the races? I'd really love to know the story. In fact, anyone who buys a journal, I'd love to know what is it, why have you, what's connected you to it that you want, want it, <laughs> that you want to own it. Um, but just like anything horse again, the horse tag here, more little cover booklet thingies and another one here and more just in this pocket with this gorgeous vintage ticket there. All, every piece is authentic. And then this is a French vocab cloud that says horse. So I thought, perfect, that's going in the journal too. <laughs> and then there is the back, another one of those covers. And I love that it has a picture of the horse there. So that's the horse one. And then this one here, yeah, this one has already sold. So, uh, We've got a beautiful vintage French vocab card there and book pages. So this is like a letters, a words lover type of journal. Um, so it's poetry and I love all the different styles of writing and typewriter, font and handwriting and different paper tones. We've got a uh, book page envelope here at the back and book pages in here of the favourite books of this lady. I'm going with the concept story that it's this lady's poetry journal and she's kept in here um, pages of her favourite books and it's got a whole bunch of different things in here, labels and stamps and different things just to tie in with that theme of her love of letters and her love of words and got another note paper in there. Um, I love the addition of the masking tape just to give it that vintage look got an altered library card and more book pages and French pages and French ledger and I'm loving these layers and to start us off 1936 that's when this one is from and T.S. Eliot we've got all different types of things beautiful vintage playing card well I think that's a swap card and I imagine that's the lady that's this is her journal this is her handwriting these are her collections of poems and writings and letters and words and every page is authentic authentic vintage papers like pages from her notebook like isn't that cool things she stuck down a gorgeous vintage postcard isn't that stunning a bit of a pop of color and there's the quill that ties in there this one folds out really really cool loving these layers vintage photograph and seed packet or coin envelope there just bits and pieces that she's picked up from her life, real life ephemera that she's picked up. Um, going with that concept journal idea, if it's, yeah, this lady's journal and a pocket here with some more French book pages and favourite books and vintage French vocabulary card, library card here because she loves library books, well, she likes books and another vintage French card here because she studied French and there is the back there again and I love it I love all of these journals I love the vintage look of each of them I love the different themes these two themes I very much connect with the music and poetry and writing and words this one I don't have any connection with this one at all so this was purely a fun creative outlet for me and love how it came together so 
Like I said, they're all available in my Etsy. My Etsy shop is linked down below in this the description box if you're interested in owning horse or songbird and made a new owner of the poetry journal. Absolutely love it. Hope they're all treasures for you lovely ladies out there. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.